The doors are open and we're getting rolling for another edition of How to Rock the Stage. Good evening and welcome. For some reason, this week feels like it's gone on and gone on and gone on. And it seemed like it was a longer visit to come back to the show, but it wasn't. How to Rock the Stage is back here once again. Last week, we had the book launch party. It was amazing. Uh, and this week has been extra busy and very exciting. We have a couple of exciting announcements to give you here tonight on Rock the Stage. Uh, we are streaming again on Facebook. Always great to have our Facebook friends along with us here. But we are also announcing a uh, new partnership, a new relationship with the National Speakers Association. It's really exciting that they are now sponsoring and partner with Rock the Stage and How to Rock the Stage on a weekly basis. Earlier today, we launched off a new project that I am leading through them with that relationship. And we were doing NSA Behind the Stage, the National Speakers Association show to inform people of what is happening with the growth and the expansion of the National Speakers Association. So we are excited to be partnering with the NSA in brand new and exciting ways, both virtually and in person. And as we go on throughout 2022 and the 2023, we'll have more of that coming on up. Speaking about reach tonight, it's all about global reach. How big do you want to be? How big of an expansive reach do you want to be? And what does that look like for you? What does that mean? We're going to talk about global reach tonight and give you practical tips and insights on that. Coming up next week, we are going to be talking about brand authority, but brand photography. And coming up next week, Kim Brundage will be with us as we wind down the month of October. And Kim will be on, and she does headshots, photo, publicity to help people elevate their brand authority through photography. You got to have a great headshot. You got to have this material to help you go and grow. And we're going to talk about it. And then on November 2nd, Richard Crossman will be with us from Canada. He's a professional voice actor. He's on camera, screen, writer, but he's a voice character actor. And we're going to talk about the power of the voice, but also specifically about voice acting. It's a new element, a great area to rock the stage. If you like having that type of career, we're going to dive deeper into it. But tonight, Dr. Barrett Matthews is going to be my guest. And when you when when most business owners, speakers, and authors and coaches are looking to become more visible, Dr. Barrett Matthews has brought the solution to putting them everywhere all at once. As a media veteran and experience in television, radio, print, and more, he uses the expertise to help bring paying clients to those who want a wider reach, which recently named a world. Um, civility ambassador day, change nations. We're going to talk more about that. But Dr. Matthews is bringing a voice to the entire world, and he's here with us today, live as I bring him in. A virtual welcome to Dr. Barrett Matthews. Good evening. Thanks for being with us tonight. Thank you, Rich. Man, it's a pleasure to be here. Man, I'm so excited. It's kind of funny because you and I met virtually, but you and I are actually in the same region. When the few times that's happened on Rock the Stage, that you were literally in my backyard. So we really got to change that virtual thing then, don't we? Why have we done that yet? What, what, what I don't know. I, I, we, we really have to change, like, as of today, we're going to have to change that. <laughs> Again, we are streaming live tonight. Thanks for the Facebook people here with us. The chat box is always open to everybody, as you can ask questions with the chat box. Uh, and so we've had technical difficulties every so often recently with that. We don't know why. The Q&A box is open. I see Aaron is already working on that and saying the chat is disabled. The Q&A is open. Feel free to ask your questions tonight. We'll have some other goodies coming your way. But let's get started in this a little bit. We both come out of radio, TV, print. We both played around media for a long time. But the expansive reach of building your own media empire has changed. You don't need ABC. You don't need CBS. You can be your own empire and go global. What got you thinking that way? Because this is a mental shift for a lot of leaders. Well, I, I mean, I can go back a little bit just to when I started in media. It, you know, we, we all, I, you know, I started out working with uh, WSA TV in DC. I was assistant director there, moved up to New York, worked in production for CBS Sports. And like many people in the industry, I got beaten up by the, by the industry. And you know what I'm talking about. Those of you who don't know, don't worry about it. You don't want to know. But, <laughs> but, the thing is, as I went on to different things in my career, the media kept calling me in one way, shape, or form. Somebody wanted me to, to do some type of media for them or to help them with something in media. And as, it, as time progressed, 
I started looking at the media and realized, hold on, this is now a lot more accessible. And I think a lot of people really didn't realize what was happening and they were still trying to do things the old school way. And by that, I mean, waiting on someone to call their name. And I, I tell people now that you don't have to wait anymore. Call your own name. <laughs> and that way, once you do that, you can control the media. That's why I use the term media boss, because you can control your own media. And that's, that, I just looked at what was happening in time, Rich. And that's when I realized that, you know, things have changed tremendously from the time, you know, that, like this, this started, you know, this wasn't there, this gray wasn't there when I started. And look, you can relate to this. When I started, we were using tapes, okay? So <laughs> we don't need those anymore. People today are like, what's a tape? But anyway. Well, I was gonna ask you, what, what's been the biggest change? I do remember being a disc jockey, 3 a.m. I began in the middle of the night and I would rewind the record. Yeah, and yes. And it would play up to it. What, what's the biggest change that you've seen through your career? I, uh, the biggest change I think is kind of what you alluded to. We don't need the networks. It, it, it's, it's that we don't, we don't need, matter of fact, the networks are calling upon the people that have internet followings now. And I think that might be the biggest change is that they need you more than you need them. Which is, a, which is huge. And that's why I become an huge. expert in your field. You start getting the phone calls, they, they, you get on ABC and NBC, but you've already created your own empire first, and then they need you and your mini empire. Yes, yeah. And you, and you got to embrace that. You got to realize that you are a mini empire, and you, you've got to understand that, yes, they have this network, and that's great. They've been going on for decades and decades, and they have people who are loyal to their network. But all of those people, well, not all of them, but most of those people who are loyal to those networks still log on to their computer every day. So let's talk about that. Let's mm -hmm. get into it a little bit. But before we get into the deep meat, the idea of being global, some people think you got to be in every channel from Facebook to TikTok to Instagram to every channel. And it's a bit of an overload. Do you agree or disagree with that? A um, little of both. <laughs> um, I, I, I think that you should incorporate social media, but you need to know how to use it. So there's no need in having every channel if you don't know how to use every channel. So like, for instance, I don't use everything on social media that's out there. And because I don't think it's necessary for me to. Now, one thing about it is from the time that one social media comes, another one comes along, one becomes obsolete, one way of using it becomes different than it used to be. So it's like, you know, when, when Facebook is not what it used to be. I mean, TikTok has just blown up now all of a sudden. And I, I just heard someone saying last week, one of the biggest social media forms out there right now for businesses is Pinterest. Really? Yes. Now, that's I, I, gone I, up and down. That's gone up and down because I know yeah. it was a big sales portable portal, but it's dropped down. But is, is Pinterest re-coming back again? I just, I just learned that last week. I was like, wow. I guess I got to get back on my Pinterest game. <laughs> but that is part of the struggle. If you go global, it is doing this and that left and right. And again, TikTok, people didn't know if TikTok was really going to work exactly. or not. Uh, they didn't know if Clubhouse was going to work. And Clubhouse Ooh. has had a quick rise. I think it's leveled off. It's, it's leveled out. I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you don't know, but it's changing every day. So what's your advice to keep up with it? Do you keep chasing it or do you stay where you need to say I, I i do that i don't chase it i follow it i follow the trends and that see, and that doesn't mean that you have to jump on everything because see i don't just do social media you know I, like like you i'm doing i'm doing live streaming i'm doing podcasting i'm writing books so i'm doing a lot of different things in media to make myself omnipresent which means i can't go with every single social media trend that goes on but I do follow it enough to where if something needs to happen in my business, like learning that Pinterest is like tops. Well, I want to be where the tops are, you know? <laughs> so I need to, I need to find out more about that and, and start doing some more Pinterest. Well, I can see Aaron's dropped into the Q and A already. He's beginning to play around with Pinterest. So there, there you go. People are exploring and they're trying to figure out what's the best way. So let's start right there. Let's, let's go back to the basics here. And well, before we do that, hold that thought. Mm -hmm. Let's launch our poll here for tonight. Let's see 
just how big people want to get with their reach. I'm curious, do people want to, first of all, there we go. How big do you want to go with your reach here tonight? Local, regional, statewide, national, or you want to go worldwide, global? Cash your boat. We're going to come back to that boat later on. But as we do that, now let's get into where do you start? Where do you start? Well, I think, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little biased on this, because I think if you're going to go global podcasting, it's probably the easiest, simplest way to do that. The reason why, and I'm not, I'm not even talking about video podcasting. I'm just talking audio. Audio podcast. Okay, audio podcast. Right. The reason is, is because, like, for instance, Rich, you love, you love media. Am I right? Just a little bit. It's, it's, right. it's very dear. <laughs> How, if given, if given the opportunity, how long do you think in a day that you could talk about media? All day long. And believe me, I think I probably have. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and that's what I'm saying. If it's something that you're passionate about and you love, you can talk about it all day long. If you hit record, you got yourself a podcast. And you probably, and if you can talk all day, you got yourself a season. So, <laughs> but the thing is, it's the simplest way to get into media. Just start a podcast, just record. It doesn't have to be perfect because none of them are going to be perfect. And so just do it and get it going. And that, that's how I say get started by just doing a podcast. Well, and it's as easy as grabbing your phone and just speaking into your phone. Yeah, so you can do to your laptop. You can do it to your tablet. You can do it with a studio. Right. Well, the, the audio podcast really is made to be very easy to get stunk going. Yep, I agree. And that's, I, I, that's why I tell people always start with that. Because then you can take that content and do so many things with it. That content can, can get you those speaking, uh, speaking uh, assignments with the National Speaker Association. The, 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 that podcasting, that podcast audio, right? You like how I did that? That, that, that? that it can get you more content because you can actually now turn it in video. You can do doc, people may want to do a documentary on you. You can take it and write a book, a blog, an ebook, a magazine just on that content. But you can start just by talking about something you love. So we got a question coming in here from an anonymous. Uh, I'm interested in starting a podcast. I've just tuned in, so I've missed the beginning. Is there a recording or a document? Um, no, you're really you're ju jumping in just at the right time. Perfect yeah. time to jump in because we're just getting the meat and bones here a little bit. We intentionally wait a little bit to dive in. So let's describe a little bit about this podcast launch, because yes, you record, you can put it up, mm -hmm. but there are channels and ways to do it, but you do need a cover. You need a little bit of branding or a, a message to describe what you're about, kind of help everyone with those really basic building blocks. Okay. Well, well you, you kind of hit on, on all of it. You're definitely going to need a graphic. Uh, that's why I tell people all the time, because the podcast sites, they're going to tell you, yeah, you may have a podcast, but you need a graphic or we're not going to put it up there. So, and, and certain ones have certain guidelines on the pixels that you have to have. And so, so make sure you look at that. Another thing you're going to need is a hosting site, someone who's going to host your podcast. Now, I am not here to tell you who to use as a host. The main reason is because a lot of them offer the same things, but a lot of them offer something different. And that something different may be what you want. So what I suggest doing is you can Google this. All the, uh, there can be a chart of the hosting podcast hosting sites. Find out what you want as opposed to what you don't want and, and the prices you want to pay for it and find, and find one. Now, there are, like, I know Anchor does free podcast hosting. Yeah. Um, I, I, now, I tell you one thing. When, when you go free, remember, you get what you pay for. So... <laughs> understand that so i have but also the one thing about anchor is anchor can take if you use your zoom to record your podcast many people are doing it and they're trashing the video again you don't have to trash your video we'll talk about that again but if you want to just use the audio you can take the video straight up and they will pull off the audio band only for you as part of anchor you don't have to edit you don't have to do much of anything it literally is record and go and that's one of the joys of anchor but there are so many platforms out there. yeah yeah I mean, and, and that's the, the, the whole thing about it. It really boils down to what you want to do with your podcast. Now, you, you heard Rich talk about you want to have, you want, first of all, you want to have a title. I, I suggest having a title that no one else is using, but it's hard. 
I mean, there, there are millions of people out there podcasting. It's hard to find one that no one's using. But one way to, I would tell people, one way to fix that is to, like, for instance, my podcast, and don't talk to our this, but my podcast is called Media Boss Podcast. Well, if I wanted to make it, if there was already a Media Boss Podcast out there, I could change it to Media Boss Podcast with Barrett Matthews. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Just plug in your name. Yeah, and, I, and I've made it unique now. So no one else has my podcast now. But, or, you know, put your state or put your city, you, you exactly. know, whatever, just add an extra phrase into it. That's right. And then, then there you go. But you, you do want to do something to make it stand out. Now, I will, I'm going to go back to that graphic. That graphic should stand out. It should make people, the colors, the, the, the fonts, it should make, make it stand out. Because when people are looking in, in the library of all the podcasts, they want yours to pop at their eye. Because then, then they may click on it just because it popped out. So. Well, and one of my speaking points on this of going global is use your face. If you're going to go global, you are the brand. Again, let's be really clear. That's you are the good. brand, not everything else. Your podcast is a tool of your brand. It is not your brand. So if you use your face, people will get to know you, hear you. That's whether true. it's an audio or video, whether it's a Facebook feed or whatever, they get to know you. That's where the game changes a little bit more globally, doesn't it? It does. And, and see, I use my face and I don't even look as good as Rich. So, you know, but the, the thing is, I, I also, I, I caution people on this all the time. Make sure that if you're going to do a podcast, that you have a lot of content in the can. Because there are going to come times when you don't feel like recording. There are going to come times when life happens, something's going to throw you off. If you've already got them recorded, you don't have a problem. <laughs> well, I would add into that on any form of media, have a bunch of cans. So if yeah, you're a blogger, have a bunch in the can. If you're doing video, have a bunch in the can. I don't care what you're doing. Yes. You need to have more in the can because life will happen. Plus, breaking news happens. And sometimes oh, you're yeah. you know, doing stuff, you can still use the same content. Just do a fresh intro and then jump into your planned content. Excellent you want point. to stay relevant. But the more you have in the can, the easier it is to keep rolling Excellent and point. keep rolling and keep rolling. Excellent point. And then a, a lot of people, they want to use music. Make sure you're using royalty-free music. Make sure you're using royalty-free music because it can bite you if you don't. And also, if you're going to have guests, I suggest having them sign a form to, you know, just a waiver let, to let you use the material. Because you never know. It, that podcast could blow up someday and the guests may not like that content and they may want to have that taken off and it, it, may, it may be your bread and butter. You never know. And so before Dr. Barrett came on, he signed a little checkbox to have the waiver on my intake form. If you would like a copy of that, let me know. I'd be happy to give you a copy of my intake form. Uh, and the more sophisticated, the more you do it, more people are getting persnickety on this. So yeah. you want to be ahead of the curve and set yourself professionally to do it again on whatever media level you are you want to start integrating these things right away don't you yeah oh yeah i mean because the thing is <laughs> media is everywhere it's everywhere so some people don't want certain things everywhere and so you have to make sure you have their permission to do so i mean, i i was fortunate enough in my in my early years to get people i, I mean well i wrote a book called uh, 50 Shades of Wealth. And I, what I did is I interviewed a lot of successful business people and I didn't have them sign a thing, but they were gracious enough to say, hey, go right ahead. You know, I remember I took a picture with my first book. I took a picture of Les Brown and Les said to me, I, I give you permission to use this anywhere. See, and you'll find those people and that's gold. And again, we got a lot more to go here, everybody. By the way, thank you in the q and I will make sure I get out and contact everybody here. Let's go back to our poll real quickly and uh -huh. let's share this and see what our live audience is saying tonight about where they wanna be. Look at this, well, global, worldly is number one. A little bit of a tie between that local yeah, the state and that local, state yeah. level. So what would you say to aspirations of going global? Again, there's a stair step. Can you take us through some of the progression of that local, that regional, that, you know, how does that work or does it just explode one day? 
Well, I know it's 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 uh by design. <laughs> it's definitely by design because I mean, if you don't want to go global, you don't go global unless something probably accidentally happens to you. <laughs> but, but a lot of people, you know, they 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 well, everyone's going to start out local for the most part because you're going to have to build up your brand. Then you can go state. Then you you go you'll go from state to national quicker than you go local to state. Clarify <laughs> that again. Let everyone hear that again. You'll, you'll go state to national quicker than you will go local to state. Because once the state knows, it can spread quicker. It can spread a lot quicker across the nation. Now, once you, once you get to national, then you have choices to make. Because people on an international level, if you become a national, someone in the media who's known nationally, it's people from an international level will contact you yes. and you have choices to make them. Do you want to be known internationally or not? Do you want to do business globally? And like, like, like we see in the poll, some people are not thinking in, in that frame and that's fine. But I'm telling you, there are a lot of people who are. <laughs> because what would you, what would you advise when they begin to get there and all of a sudden they realize I'm getting picked up, I'm getting asked, how would you advise them to, step onto that global stage? What, what, what would be some great tips to own that and really rock that? Well, one, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of it. B believe me, it's, it really, it's really no different. It's just that they're farther away. They, and understand this, if those people from another country saw something in you, keep in mind, they saw something in you that they want to learn from, that they want to grow from, I, I'm look. I'm, I'm I'm not trying to get religious on you, but I tell people this: God gave you a gift, and it's your gift to share with the people. If the people want your gift, to me, it would be a slap in God's face for you not to share it. So if they're interested in you and they're if they're contacting you from Germany, okay, Germany wants me. That's not saying you have to go to Germany. If you see me and Rich, right? How do you know Rich is not in Germany right now? How do, you, <laughs> how, how do you know I'm not in Ireland right now? You don't know that because we can do things virtually now. But if they want my product and they're in, an, in another country, I'm not going to shy away from them. I would say lean into it, but don't be afraid. Don't forget, everybody, you get to ask your questions with the good doctor here in just a little bit. We're going to have cameras, microphones. You get to ask him questions. Uh, but I'm also thinking about what are those, are there certain keywords? Are there certain phrases, things you could do with your social media so it is easier to get found globally or to elevate nationally? How would hashtags. you ad advise that? Hashtags. Hashtags are, I, did, I was late to the hashtag game. And putting hashtags on your post on social media that are, are going to be attractive to those people. And you can, you can look up hashtags to find out which ones are popular. And it, it's because, uh, I mean, that changes too. But people can find you by searching certain hashtags. And if they, if they search those hashtag, hashtags and you pop up, bam. And that, that's something that all, all, all of a sudden, now you're getting some of these people. Another thing that I recommend to people, and I, may, I talk about this all the time, is make some international friends. Just make some friends. I'm not saying ask them for anything. Just make some friends who are international. So I've been intentionally in some other networking groups that are international. I'm in a UK one right now, primarily UK. It's working great. I'm also in a predominantly Australian one where I already had some great relationships. It does work. Yeah. So you have virtual stage opportunities with those networks. Take the virtual stages so you get network for more people. And yes. more people, they will see you and know this guy's available, this gal's available. Here's how you do this. Um, Dan's got a question. This is great. He said, he, I'm starting to get attention from the global um, arena for Good articles. Job. Is there a time when, or it's too early to publicize and start thinking that way? When they start tapping Dan on the shoulder, should he jump fast, go slow? How would you advise when they're beginning? Well, it depends on what, when they're tapping, what are they, when you turn around, what are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> Because, I mean, are they, are they just saying hi or are they just saying, hey, we, we would love to have you do some business with us? Are they saying they, they want you to, we want you to speak to us? It depends on what they're saying. If they're 
saying, hey, we'd love to have you come speak to us. Okay, let's let's have a conversation about that. What's it what's it gonna take to get you there? What are they willing to do? What's their budget? How what do they want you to speak on? Who do they want you to speak to? What is their so end he goal? added in here? He's wanting to write an article of, of about his business and the global impact. So he's getting more excited, oh, it sounds like. And go for it, right? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. I mean, I was asked to write a book some years ago on execution and business and on the and how to do it globally. So, and as soon as I was asked to do it, I started writing. <laughs> Again, and this is where I'm going to go back to my opening comments. You can create your own media empire. You can create your own presence. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have someone create a stage for you. You can create a stage. You can create your podcast. You, the door is so open now for you to become that authority and go global. Right. Right. And, and that, that's the thing. You don't, you don't need permission. And I think that's the big thing. You don't need permission. Well, I mean, when, when I was coming up in media, in order for you to be on TV, you had to know someone. In order for you to be on radio, you had to know someone. There was no such thing as self-publishing a book. I mean, these, these things are, are all now totally different. And you can control it just by a click a lot of times. Well, right. And again, there's no showrunner. You are the showrunner. Um, and a lot of time, if you were on ABC, NBC, all the networks, there was money to be exchanged for you to get on that stage. And publicity That's very on. true. Nowadays, Zoom or whatever platforms aren't that expensive. No. So the money is no longer the barrier to say, no. here I am. World. You're right. I mean, think about how many people that we know of right now who have become famous not from a TV appearance, but from something online. And, and then became wealthy because of that. So it, trust me, it, and they, they can put on their things hey, as, as seen on ABC, because that was after they got big. The ABC called them. <laughs> made them a little bigger, don't get me wrong. It made them a little bigger. Right, as, right. As seen on Rock the Stage would be a great one to brag on, wouldn't it? You know? I, look, I can brag on that. I, I can <laughs> brag on that. Yeah, so. <laughs> We, we're, we're coming out in the first half of the show here a little bit. Here is how you can learn more about The Good Doctor here. This is some of the social media. If you stick around to the end, which we highly encourage, he does have a special offer on his Make Money from Media Challenge. So you're going to still want to stick around from that, learn more about that special. Um, what is the best advice you can give here in the first half of the show that we want now? Well, what's the best, best tip you can say to help them really start the engine to go global? Start that podcast, like I mentioned earlier. Start the, stop procrastinating. Start it. Because you, you can't go wrong by talking about something you love. Just start it. it I, I talk to people all the time, Rich, about people, about uh, how they want to start a podcast. They've been talking about it for years. Stop talking. Do it. Well, I'm, you know, I do this professionally. This is what I love to do. And I do have other projects in my head. I'm a big science fiction uh, junkie ah, okay. um, and one of my pet projects someday is i would like to do a podcast just on science fiction you know do and, it. and just have fun and just rant and talk and you know rip on the bad ones the b-rate runs and you know highlight the good ones i'll too. listen do it i'll listen <laughs> we're gonna have more with the good doctor here in just a moment so uh, don't go anywhere as again we want to remind you rock the stage is here every week wednesday night seven o'clock eastern time we go live uh, and we do have more conversation. We are going to bring you on. You can ask your questions face-to-face, mic-to-mic. Uh, and again, any of the other questions here in the chat, we'll bring those forward as well. You can always learn more. If you want to learn media presence, I work and I coach. I help elevate leaders on their media presentation. You have to look good, sound good. You have to have that story to tell as we're talking about here tonight. I help you find and unlock some of those. If you want to learn more about Rock to Stage Media and how we can help you out, just go to rockthestagemedia.com or email me, rich at richbontrager.net. Again, Holler Rock the Stage, proudly sponsored now by the National Speakers Association.